Hi, hello everyone. I'm Toshi from Japan and Twilight Sugar for foreigners. In this video, I'll show you best nine apps and two websites for traveling in Japan. I've received numerous inquiries about the best travel apps and services for exploring Japan. From these inquiries, I think that language barriers emerge as a top concern among foreign travelers. In this video, I'll introduce nine apps and two websites across nine categories. Ranging from communication aids to web service that can be completed online without communication. All designed to make your Japan trip smoother. You'll have the tools to navigate Japan comfortably. Enhancing your travel experience. Stick around till the end for valuable insights. So, let's get started. Number one is translation app. In Japan, you might know that many locals don't speak English fluently which can sometimes pose a challenge for travelers. That's where translation apps come to the rescue. And there are several to choose from, including Google Translate, Papago, and Deeple. However, my personal top pick is Google Translate. I've had the opportunity to travel to 75 countries, and Google Translate has consistently proven to be a reliable companion. What sets it apart are its to stand out features, voice translation, and image text translation. The voice translation feature allows you to have real-time conversations with Japanese people. You can speak into your phone in your language. And Google Translate will quickly translate Japan. what you said into Japanese. The person you're talking to can respond in Japanese. And the app will translate their response Where back to your listening? language. It's like having a personal interpreter in your pocket. The image text translation is another game changer. If you come across signs menus, or any text in Japanese that you don't understand. You can simply open the app, point your phone's camera at the text, and watch in amazement as it automatically translates the text into your chosen language. It's incredibly handy for deciphering all sorts of information while exploring Japan. So, whether you're having a conversation with a local or trying to make sense of a Japanese menu, Google Translate is the versatile tool you need. It ensures that language barrier won't hinder your experience in Japan. Number two is navigation app. In Japan, there are navigation apps like Japan Travel and Yahoo Map available. But I highly recommend using Google Maps as it's an all-in-one solution. It works well in cities and countryside areas throughout the country. With Google Maps, planning your routes becomes a piece of cake, whether you're taking a train bus or any other public transport just enter your destination and google maps will give you the best directions it covers walking and public transportation routes all starting from your current location determined by gps besides google maps japan travel is a handy app to have it's created by japan's major app developer Navitime. what makes it stand out from google maps is its integration with great deals like the junior rail pass to use it, simply tap on the tourist pass section, choose the pass you're interested in, say the junior rail pass, and see if it covers your intended routes in the search results. My foreign friends who visited Japan relied on Google Maps and Japan Travel during their trips. Using those navigation apps is incredibly easy and convenient, and it will definitely enhance your experience in Japan. Number 3 is Online ticket reservation for Shinkansen. In this chapter, I'd like to introduce the services crucial for your Japan travel. The first is SmartX, enabling online reservations for Shinkansen bullet trains from Tokyo Dan to Kyushu. This service conveniently covers popular destinations like Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, and Hiroshima, making it an all encompassing solution. It's user friendly, simply download the app. Input your details, select your route, see preferences, and make the purchase now. Let's talk about Econet. This platform offers online Shinkansen reservations from Tokyo to the northern Tohoku area. If you plan to head north of Tokyo, Econet is your go-to. I recommend using their website for reservations because this service lacks an English app and has received not good reviews. The process is similar to SmartX register your details. Search for tickets, choose your preferences, and proceed with the purchase. If you're eyeing a junior rail pass or similar passes, press purchase a pass, otherwise, hit purchase tickets. The flow from there aligns with SmartX's process, remember, it's important to note that these apps differ in the areas they cover. 
So choose based on your destination. Tailor your choice to your travel destination for a seamless Shinkansen reservation experience. Number four is digital ticket. I see cards called Suica or Posmo can be used not only to ride public transportation, such as trains and buses, but also for daily shopping, making them an essential item for foreigners traveling in Japan. However, as I previously mentioned in another video, due to a semiconductor shortage, physical Suica and Posmo cards have stopped production. This is where the mobile Suica app becomes incredibly important. This app, unfortunately, currently supports only the Japanese language. But, once you download the app and complete the initial setup by linking it to your credit card, you can handle recharges using English-supported Apple Wallet. Setting up the app isn't overly complicated, so I highly recommend giving it a try. If Mobile Suica seems challenging to use, there are alternatives like Welcome Suica or Posmo Passport. These cards are not much different in function from existing Suica and Posmo. However, there are some points to keep in mind such as the expiration date and non-refundability of the charged money. So if you are interested, please watch the previous videos. Feel free to use these digital alternatives for a more seamless and enjoyable time during your stay in Japan. Number 5 is Online Service for Immigration I want to share an essential tip for a smooth entry into Japan. It's all about a fantastic service that can save you time and bypass long lines at the airport. This is also explained in a previous video, so please watch it if you'd like. The Japanese government has started providing convenient online services for immigration and customs procedures. You can complete processes like quarantine registration, immigration inspection, customs declaration, and even duty-free shopping in advance. This means you won't need to stand in queues on arrival. It's a real time saver. There are three things you need to register. Your flight ticket, passport, and email address. However, there's an important update to note. In September 2023, the Japanese government issued a warning about suspicious apps like Visit Japan Web Info. Please be aware that this service does not provide any official apps. So, if you happen to download a suspicious app, it's crucial to uninstall it immediately. So, remember to use the official Visit Japan web platform to speed up your entry and avoid unexpected issues. Safe travel and enjoy your time in Japan. Number six is check smoking area. As I previously mentioned in another video, in Japan, smoking in public places is generally prohibited. After May 2022, some areas in Tokyo have even introduced fines for smoking in public spaces. This means that, if you wish to smoke, you'll need to find designated smoking areas. I received a comment from a viewer who wanted to know how to specifically find a smoking area. So, let me introduce you to Club JT. This app helps you locate smoking areas around you through GPS-based location services. However, it's important to note that the app is currently available only in Japanese. Nonetheless, it's quite user-friendly. You simply tap on the cigarette icon, and it displays nearby smoking areas, not just limited to smoking areas. Club JT also lets you search for cafes and restaurants where smoking is permitted. All you need to do is tap on the relevant icon to ensure a hassle-free experience in Japan and to avoid any trouble. It's crucial to smoke only in the designated smoking area. So when you are a smoker and in need of finding a suitable place to smoke, Club JT is a handy term. Number 7 is Check Currency Lay. Despite the increasing popularity of cashless payments in Japan, the cash is king culture still prevails in many areas. Hence, you'll need to ensure you had some cash on hand during your visit. One critical consideration when dealing with cash is the currency exchange rate. It's crucial to verify whether the rate offered at exchange centers is indeed fair. This is where the currency converter comes in handy. Using it is straightforward. You select the currencies you want to convert between, then input the amount you wish to exchange. The converter will display the current bank rates, allowing you to gauge if the rate offered at the exchange center is reasonable. What's great about this tool is its compatibility with currencies worldwide. 
Therefore, it's not only beneficial for your travels in Japan, but also for trips in other countries. Number eight is Bed Hotel. I have traveled to 75 countries around the world. Throughout my travels, I've relied on two major platforms for hotel bookings, Expedia and Booking.com. This holds true even in Japan, where utilizing these two platforms ensures a smooth travel experience. I encourage you to make the most of these resources during your stay here. If you opt for Expedia, using the link provided in the description box helps support my channel with a small commission at no extra cost to you. Your assistance contributes to the creation of more content. So, if you are considering utilizing Expedia for your booking, I'd be grateful for your support. Number 9 is Book Activity. Thank to you guys. I've received various inquiries like finding guides or tours and seeking recommendations for must do activities in popular tourist spots like Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. So, I've created some videos to help you, but I understand I might not cover everything. To address these needs further, I'd like to introduce you to an excellent solution, the Cloak app. This app is an amazing resource that can assist in discovering exciting activities and tours in your chosen location. Plus, one fantastic perk is that tickets to tourist attractions often come at discounted rates compared to buying them conventionally. Have an amazing adventure and make the most of your time here in Japan. How are the best 9 apps and 2 websites for traveling in Japan? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like button. See you in my next video. Bye!